I'm about to go back to Fanny Ann's. Uh, hopefully Mac has some answers for me. And uh, it's probably been my last video, except for when I called Jif to confirm that they say, you know, we've never sold Jiffy. And then I'll do another recording in Arizona to get a Jiffy burger there next week. Let's see what's going on. Jiffy peanut butter, correct? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, I just had a question yeah, yeah, yeah. for Mac to ask when the, when did they stop sending him Jiffy and started sending him Jiff? No, I think what it is is they shorten their name. I, no, I know that's what I originally thought, but when I look up it on Logopedia from '58 till now, just Jiff. When I called Jiff, it was owned by Procter and Gamble. They sold it to Schmuckers in 2001. I called them. They said it's always been Jif. I'm confusing them with Skippy. Oh, and then I looked. I looked here. This is an awesome place. I looked there, and I'm like, that's what I remember as a kid in the '90s. So when in the '90s? So when in the '90s did they turn it to Jif? And Max, pretty much the only one who can answer that question for me in this country. I've narrowed it down to this this state. Really? Oh yeah, I flew from New York to get this answer. Are you, you, you know, have you heard of the Mandela effect? That's what I'm proving right now, but I don't like to come out and say that to people because yeah. people start to get strained. <laughs> but I have a list of questions, 20 questions. If anybody can get 10 of them right that doesn't know about the Mandela effect, I'll give them a $100 bill. Do you know about all the effects? Um, not all of them, but... Uh, I found 100. 100? And there's over 12,000. People get weird. Yeah. So. Some people are really into it. Other people will just shut down. Other people say, oh, I guess I have a bad memory. And if anybody's read 1984 by George Orwell, we all know how this ends. <laughs> yeah.